I have absolutely nothing. This case, this case is going to kill me. Okay, think, think. Let's see what we have so far. First, let's look at the patient. I have a 14-year-old Asian female whose family just moved here from China and is establishing care at the clinic. She's here for a contact lens evaluation and has been wearing ortho-K lenses for two years. For eight hours a night, has no issue with comfort or vision out of the lenses. But this is the problem. The patient and family have no medical records prior to treatment, no refraction, no topographies, no Ks, no lens parameters. Essentially, we are in the dark. Now, we look at the patient's entrance testing. Slightly reduced visual acuity in the right eye of 20-25, left eye is seen 20-20 minus 2. All other findings are essentially normal, and our topographies look well-centered with a good treatment zone and alignment. So we have a patient with no pretreatment data, no lens parameters to go off of, and worse comes to worse, the left lens cracks before we can evaluate. The right lens looks good with centration with a minimal over-refraction. But now, we have no place to go. Luckily for us, as a CLPI, there's always a guy who can get us the information we need. Chad, you got stuff? Yeah. What you got for me? All right, then. I think that'll work. Let's see what I've got. Is this what you're looking for? I believe this is what you're after. Looks good. And uh, don't tell Ben I was here. Now, after getting the goods from Dr. Jedlicka, was able to make the first initial lens selection. It's a bit of a shot in the dark because we don't have a ton of data on the patient. Right eye went with an 8155033 and left eye 8055033. The right eye, Almost looks spot on right off the bat. Good centration, good bullseye pattern, only minus a quarter over a fraction. Left eye is a little bit different. We're steep centrally, we have excessive edge lift and a minus 50 over a fraction. We went ahead and flattened the base curves by 0 0.10U to achieve proper correction and steepening the edges from 33 to 34. Below are the lenses, lenses that were ordered. Patient came for dispense and after one week of wear, Distance visual acuity without correction is 20-20 in the right eye and 20-20 in the left eye. Some trace diffuse SPK, but her topographies are looking amazing. We have great centration, a good central treatment zone, and a good 360 mid peripheral ring. The fits, right eye looks about the same as a start, but over fraction is now only plus a quarter. Left eye, much improved fit, good centration, good bullseye pattern, and also a plus a quarter over refraction. So after a little bit of work, we have some great fitting lenses. Patient is coming back for a one month follow up just to make sure that everything is on the up and up. Now we have some clinical pearls, some takeaways. First, even with empirical fittings becoming more standardized, there's still a place for the diagnostic fitting set in practice. We can teach patients I and R, we can get them comfortable with the lenses before going ahead and ordering, but more importantly, we can achieve the same endpoints and the same corrections with a diagnostic lens that, than we can with an empirically fit lens. Second off, a lack of subjective information may make an exam more difficult, but not impossible. In these cases, it's really important to get good objective data and to use all the tools that you have at your disposal. If we are able to do this, we can make good, clinical decisions for our patients and they can leave with lenses that not are only comfortable but give them the best vision that they can achieve.